this is Jeff here. Today, the key word is nitroglycerin. What do you think of when you think of nitroglycerin? Well, some of you, if you don't use it, you think of dynamite. Other people who do use it think of angina or chest pains. So, what nitroglycerin, and today we're going to, of course, talk about chest pains, not dynamite, or else the FBI would be searching us out because we're talking about dynamite. But no, chest pains is what we're talking about today, or angina. Angina is basically your heart screaming out for more blood and more oxygen to get in there and feed the muscle that is working hard. But sometimes the vessels that feed the heart with the blood and the oxygen and the, and the energy are smaller and it, it can't get enough blood and energy to that piece of uh, heart muscle. Therefore, it, 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 I tell people it's like it's screaming at you, it's hurting, it's like give me more energy. So the way to do that is with nitroglycerin as one of the options, nitroglycerin is a, it relaxes the blood vessels. So of course if you've got a blood vessel that's, that's tight and you want to relax it, of course once it relaxes it opens up more and more blood, more oxygen and more energy gets to the muscle and it stops the pain. The unfortunate thing with nitroglycerin though is it's not specific to heart blood vessels. It'll also relax blood vessels throughout your body too, in your head, so this is why common side effect would be migraines or headaches. Uh, it can also, of course, if the blood vessels are opened up a lot through your body, you could be a little tippy or uh, lightheaded, so then you would sit down. So, nitroglycerin, here we go again. There's three or four different products that are nitroglycerin. One is an oral tablet that you would take every single day. There's others that you would take PRN, new pharmacy term, for as needed or when required. And there's a couple different preparations. I'll show you. Got a few right here. One is the old-fashioned tablet. Tablet is good. It works great. Uh, when you get your chest pain, stick it under your tongue and let it dissolve. It dissolves really quickly and absorbs into your body really fast. Don't swallow these pills because they work quicker if you stick it under your tongue. They're called a sublingual tablet. And that's called your sublingual again. Okay. So you stick it under your tongue when you're getting chest pains and it works that way. These are good. However, the tablets will break down fairly quickly. So once you open it the first time and you use it, the tablets inside start to deteriorate fairly quickly. So every well, three or four months you probably should replace the bottle. The other two options, get rid of that. The other two options for quick or as needed uh, chest pains would be either a spray. You don't have to shake it. I shook it. I wasn't supposed to. Spray. Don't shoot it in your eye. The other one is it's a pump. I don't want to suck that in, I'll get a headache. It smells nice. It's a mint. So either one of these, they will do the same as a tablet. Again, spray it under your tongue or under your tongue if you can. And it works in about well, three to four minutes and you'll help relieve the chest pains. These are a little better than the tablets, I feel, because they're good until the expiry date on the bottom. So this one's good until uh, it's got two years on this yet. So I think going with the spray is a little bit better than the tablets. And it's not a bottle, it won't break, you drop it and everything. How to use the sprays and tablets effectively and properly is, if you're getting chest pains, of course, sit down, relax, breathe. Put a tablet under your tongue or use a spray under your tongue, on your tongue. Wait for about five minutes. Again, relaxing. If the chest pain doesn't go away, do another dose. Again, wait five minutes. If it doesn't go away, do the third dose. As you're doing the third dose, whoop! either off to the hospital, call for an ambulance, something like that, just to get some medical attention also. So that's that. One other nitro I want to show you today is the patch. It's not nicotine patch, it's nothing like that, it's not estrogen. This is nitroglycerin patch. And these are applied on a non-hairy part of your body. So for me, that's pretty well anywhere from my nose down. I have no hair. So, you want to apply it to a non-hairy part of your body. The directions say anywhere from the knee up. However, most people, and you would think it makes sense, I suppose, that it's for your heart, so I'm going to apply it to my chest. Yeah, and that's true. It's good. But anywhere from the waist up, non-hairy, not in skin folds, not on scars, not on burn sites or irritated skin, don't apply it there. Anywhere else, good luck. Anyway, that's where it should be applied. I'm going to open it up and show you what it looks like inside. Dropped it. It comes in a 
like a wafer. And if you bend it, whoop, they crack. And what you do is you peel off one of the hard sides, garbage, and this soft side now we're going to apply to the skin. So let's say I have no shirt on, just a sec. And this is my skin, and it's about the same, no hair. We're going to apply it to the skin. I'm going to peel back this side to remove that tab and tap it on. So that will stay on now just for the day. So normally patches are put on 8 in the morning, removed at 10 at night, and then the body goes through a nitro holiday. And the reason for that is if we kept the patch on 24 hours a day, every day, new and new and new and every day, our body becomes used to the nitroglycerin and it doesn't work as well anymore. So we've got to take it off at night when we go to bed which makes sense because we're going to bed, we're going to sleep, we're not going to be doing a lot of exercising and creating chest pains. So that's why it's also removed off at night. So at night, when you go to bed, you're going to remove it, push it on the center. Not that many times. Push it on the center. And what you're doing, you're wrinkling your skin, because as you can see, my skin is wrinkling. And you're going to create an edge for the... It doesn't come off very well on the cold. You're going to create an edge for the patch. And you're going to peel it off. And there it is there. And you're going to fold it over on itself like that. While all the sticky sides are together. And you're going to throw it away. Wash your hands, of course. Don't lick your fingers. You get a headache. And i got the gum left on me. But the site that you put it on, don't put it on the same site the next night. Change the site. Go to somewhere else. Move it around a bit. Because like to say, if you, if you left a band-aid on your finger for a couple of days, it gets irritated and itchy and just yucky. Same as if you left any adhesive sticky patch on your skin in one spot all the time. It's going to be more irritated and it's going to be more uncomfortable to the skin. So you're going to remove it, clean the area with soapy water, clean it off. If it gets dry or itchy, you can put a little bit of lotion on it as well. But anyway, that's the nitroglycerin patch, sprays, tablets, a little bit about angina. Never spoke about dynamite. Don't want the FBI coming on our website, tracking me down. I don't like that. So that's nitroglycerin. If you need any more questions answered on this topic or anything else, of course, come on down to see us at City Pharmacy here on West Street in Cornerbrook. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon.